Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Julie Wedby. The title is, I am ready to perform my word, and your heart will be greatly strengthened. And this word was posted January 15th, 2021. I am who I say that I am. Do you truly believe this? I have much to say to those who can hear me. Humble yourselves under my mighty hand. Ask for forgiveness, repenting often, and I will cleanse you from your unrighteousness. I am causing a shaking in all areas. I will preserve those who are complete and blameless, as the wicked will be cut off. A great separation is taking place. The unfaithful will be rooted out, and I will bring to light what has been hidden in darkness. I will expose the secret motives of every man's heart. Watch and see what I am about to do. Draw near to me in full assurance of faith. If you walk in obedience, I will fill you with the knowledge of my will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Keep your armor tightly fastened at all times. I will cause you to speak forth my word with great boldness, and signs and wonders will be done in my name. I have promised that I will strengthen you with all might, according to my glorious power. Your light will break forth like the morning, and your healing will will spring forth speedily. My righteousness will go before you, and my glory will be your rear guard. You will not die, but live, and declare my works to the whole earth. I know the things you have need of before you ask me. I see every heart. I see the tears you cry for all the evil in the world and I collect them in my bottle. Because every beast of the forest is mine, and I own the cattle on a thousand hills, nothing is too hard for me. There is always hope, even when all seems lost. Commit your way to me, and I will bring it to pass. I am able to do exceedingly more than you can imagine. Come to me, all you who are heavy and burdened right now because of this great darkness surrounding you, and I will give you rest. Do not be anxious. Rest in my capable arms, my children. I am ready to perform my word. Rest on my promises and watch what I will do. Call to me, my beloved, Continue to cry out to me as you have been, and I will show you great and mighty things. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return void, and it will accomplish what I please, and prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Stand and see this great thing which I am about to do before your eyes, the things which are impossible with men are possible with me. Be strong in my grace, for it is sufficient for you. If I am for you, no one and nothing can come against you. I want you to set your mind on things above, not things of the earth. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or disheartened, for I am always with you. I have told you, you will not need to fight this battle. The battle belongs to me, so position yourselves accordingly. Stand still and see my salvation, for you are not alone. I told you there would be tribulation in this world, but I have overcome this world. Your sufferings cannot be compared to the glory which I will reveal in you. You are more than conquerors. We are not separated. Be faithful, my loves, and finish your race in my strength. 
press towards the higher calling, my remnant, because you can do all things as I pour out my spirit through you. Greater is he that lives in you than he, the enemy, who is in this world. Signs will follow all you who believe. You will cast out demons in my name. You will speak with new tongues. You will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Because you have sowed bountifully, you will reap bountifully. Blessings will come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of your God. I will continue to instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, revealing the deeper things of my kingdom to you. You will be vessels of honor, sanctified and useful for your master's work. Your speech and preaching will be in demonstration of my spirit and my power. Every place the soles of your feet tread upon will be given unto you. Your hearts will be greatly strengthened. The gifts and anointing on your life will come forth and birth the things I have spoken to you in your heart. You will be a flame of fire in the earth, exposing the unfruitful works of darkness. You will not be shaken by afflictions as you boldly speak my gospel in the midst of great conflict as you fulfill the ministry I have given you. I will raise up a standard in this nation and around the world and cause the rains of my spirit to flood the land. I will revive my work in your midst as I raise up intercessors who will tear down strongholds. My glory will be revealed. Awake nations, Awake and hear the voice of the Most High God. I will judge you and put you to fear, so that all will know that I am the great I am. I will not ignore the groaning of all creation as it labors to bring forth my manifested sons and daughters, as they are delivered from the bondage of corruption. I will send forth my spirit of truth across the land to bear witness of me and to convict the world of sin, righteousness and judgment. Many, many will repent and turn from their idols. You who dwell in the secret place of El Elyon will abide under my shadow, the shadow of El Shaddai, you will say of me, He is my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim in whom I trust. I will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. I will cover you with my feathers, and under my wings you will trust. My truth will be your shield and buckler. You will not be afraid for the terror by night or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that walks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. Even though a thousand will fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, it won't come near you. Only with your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made Yahuwah, which is your refuge, even El Elyon, your habitation, no evil will befall you, and no plague will come near your dwelling. I will give my angels charge over you, to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon you will trample under feet. Because you set your love upon me, I will deliver you. I will set you on high because you have known my name. You will call upon me and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. With long life I will satisfy you and show you my Yeshua, salvation, deliverance. 
I will shake the nations and cause my remnant to rise up for war. The multitudes will be brought into the valley of decision as my ambassadors go forth. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that I am Lord of all. Righteousness and praise will spring forth as the earth fills with the knowledge of my glory. As the waters cover the sea, all will exalt me and worship me. I will make my enemies to be my footstool. The nations will be blessed through my remnant. So rejoice, my beloved, rejoice. Your king comes in great victory. You were born for such a time as this. Yahushua. And that is the end of the message.